So Nampa, Idaho made number one in what? Dave, Edwards, Treasure Valley Dave here, your expert real estate resource by your side when it's time to sell your home, buy a home, or relocate to the Boise, Idaho area. You'll find the Treasure Valley Dave team office century located right here in beautiful Nampa, Idaho. Now back to the video. Hey, Dave Edwards, Treasure Valley Dave here. And yes, it's true, Nampa again has been found to be the best run city in the entire United States. We're not surprised, those of us that live here. Hey, maybe you can live here too. Anyway, did you know that um, one of the reasons that Nampa ha is the best city in the entire country is because we have the second lowest long-term debt per capita. The only one that has a lower is uh, Casper, Wyoming. I don't know why that is, but that's not enough to make me move to Casper. But it is enough to make me be happy in Nampa. Yes, that's right. Paula Hub has again said that Nampa is the best run city in the United States. So here we have the recent article and it talks about um, some of the things that make up what it takes to be the best run city in America. Um, and they measure the effectiveness of our local leadership. And uh, I live here and I get to see that uh, leadership play out on a daily basis. And I have to say, it's pretty decent. Even during less difficult times, running a city is a tall order. Um, in addition to representing the residents, local leaders must balance the public's diverse interests with the city's limited resources. Very true. But how do we measure the effectiveness of local leadership? By its uh, city's operating efficiency. And what does that mean? It's how well the city officials manage and spend public funds in comparing the quality of services residents receive against the city's total budget. So they measure 149 of the largest cities in the United States. And guess what? Best run cities in America. Number one, Nampa, Idaho. And then you can slide down a little bit and we see number four spot is Boise. Uh, moving on down, um, some other decent places, but I can, I've been to a lot of these places and they wouldn't be my first choice particularly because, you know, I'm getting older and it's that weather thing. I just like it where there's not storms and tornadoes and high humidity that just kills you when you walk outside. I don't mind a little bit of snow. And that's what we get here is just a little bit of snow. Moving on down, we can see how uh, they progress. They get a little bit worse and worse. Oh, the first one that we see for California is which one? Uh, Huntington Beach. Oh, I hear that's a very well, it used to be a very conservative area coming into 21, and we don't see another California until we get over 50, which is San Diego coming in at 56. What about some of those liberal bastions in California? Santa Ana used to be conservative. Fremont, okay, we're starting to get to the Bay Area there. Number 78, we're just like halfway through the list. And we still haven't seen that many from California, and we're halfway through the list. Anaheim. I'm sure Disneyland helps pro uh, provide a huge budget down there, right? Bakersfield, now we're starting to get towards the bottom of the list. Modesto, Sac of Tomato, Stockton. Wow, we're starting to get pretty heavy on California the closer we get to the bottom of the best run cities in America. Ooh, coming in at the dead last. Hey, that's funny, Chattanooga. I thought everybody that was conservative leaving California is going to Tennessee. Maybe it's not the conservative bastion of well-run cities that we'd always hoped for. And this next little part, long-term debt per, out, uh, per capita, um, that means you know by number of citizens, and the only one that's ahead of or spends less than Nampa, Idaho, is Casper, Wyoming. And I'm very proud that um, you know Nampa is right up there. They don't take all that much money from us and what they do take from us, they spend very wisely. So another great reason why Nampa is the number one town in the entire United States, the best well run, is that um, we offer a great place where people wanna come. Right now we're over here at the Stampede Rodeo and um, we have thousands of people here, um, cowboys and people who love that cowboy way of life. And what do I mean by that? That's, you know, the, individualism but right there to help your neighbor competition um, you know to make yourself better to make everybody else better out there just working to be better but at the end of the day if someone needs some help they're the first ones there that's just kind of this small town mentality that um, we have here 
So you can check out our series of uh, living in small towns in Idaho. Uh, we have one just on Nampa, and it's a great place to uh, get a feel for what Nampa is really like. Go to our website, www.treasurevalleydave.com, and check it out right there. You can download your own copy of our magazine on that. So really, what is small town living, though? And I think Nampa really exemplifies this, which is probably why it was rated the number one town in the entire country, is that um, you know the small town living isn't just the population number, but it's the mentality. The mentality of the people that run the city, it's also the mentality of the people that live in the city. Nampa is a place where people want to help each other. So what are some of the things that they were looking at? Well, health, safety, quality of life. What do you think we got here? Of course, one of the great quality of life things is our farmer's market that we have here in Nampa. And uh, why is it so cool? Well, people get to come out. Um, small entrepreneurs get to sell their wares. Uh, it provides so much opportunity for people to come and shop and get something unique something that you probably can't get on amazon um well, let's take a look wow i wish we had smell of vision on this that smells so good what do they have in here some indoor shopping that's pretty cool but it's such a beautiful day let's check out what's outside Nice. <laughs> ah, people are so fun here, aren't they? They absolutely are. Oh, look at all these cool things to check out. Hey, a double-decker coffee bus. That looks pretty wild. So we got rocks and bread, and cinnamon rolls and buns, flowers. Cheese. Always so much stuff to check out over here. Brisket, oh my gosh. It's so great that the city puts this on. It's such a great service for all the citizens. Oh, fruit. Nice. It's a great place for some produce, huh? So you get some healthy food down here, too. I know over on the next row, they have some grass-fed beef. Nothing wrong with that. So you know what I don't see down here, talking about small towns, is uh, I don't see a bunch of crap going on, do you? I don't see graffiti, I don't see gangbangers flying their colors, I don't see uh, disruptions going on, I just see a bunch of good people having a good time, enjoying themselves. Wow, they're going to have some live music down here in a little bit. Nice. And you know, there might be places where uh, graffiti and crime and flying your colors for your particular uh, group that you like to associate yourself with. That might be a fun thing, but that's just not what we do here. If you do like that, maybe, you know, move to Portland, move to San Francisco. But not here. It's a whole different place. It's a small town. Have you heard about that? Nampa is a small town. It's also the best well-run uh, city in the entire country. And I think you're seeing an exa a perfect example of why that is. So what other reasons could there be that would might make you interested in living in a small town? Let's go check a couple more out. And really one of the big things about Nampa that put it at number one on this list is their uh, fiscal responsibility. And what does that include? Well, it includes like um, they're financially stable. Um, they spend money on the right things. They don't uh, blow it on, you know, trains to nowhere and things like that, but they put it back into the community. Plus they're all, also uh, very uh, business friendly. 
they try to make it as easy as possible. Um, with one of the things that first struck me when we moved here from California is the number of uh, all these mom and pop businesses. You just never saw that in California because it was so hard. We had a mom and pop business and the regulation and the expense and just the compliance stuff was enough to kill you. Apparently that's not the case up here. So thanks for coming along with me on this journey today, um, helping us celebrate all that's great about Nampa and just another really good reason why Nampa is such a great place to live. It's number one in the country, you know. And um, there's not to say that there's not other great places here in the Treasure Valley. Star is beautiful, Middleton's great. Meridian's got a lot of pluses too. So whatever it is that you're looking for, we can help you find it. Just give us a call, text or email. And as always, looking forward to helping you get home. Treasure Valley Dave here. Thank you for checking out this great video. Can I ask you what problem do you have that I can help you with? Do you need to sell a home, buy a home? Are you a first time home buyer? Maybe looking to relocate to the beautiful Treasure Valley from some other state? The Treasure Valley Dave team is your expert by your side here to help you solve your real estate problem. You can contact us through our website or give us a call or text at 208-860-2004. Now go ahead and subscribe and ring that bell so you don't miss any future videos. For more education and entertainment, check out this great video next or binge on this playlist.